Hello Arrows fans, thanks for checking in for another Arrows update. I'm Chris Thomas and since the last show, the Arrows have stayed hot. As of filming, the Arrows are 26 and 14, good enough for the best record in the Eastern League with a four game lead in the Eastern League West. The Arrows are now without the bat of Jared Getter, who got called up to AAA Columbus. Getter left the Arrows hitting 395 and had a ridiculous OBP of 476. First in the league in both categories. Plus, he was leading the Arrows in home runs and RBIs. Despite losing that production, the Arrows have gone from one of the worst hitting teams in the league in April to the second best in the league behind the Reading Phillies. Tim Fedorov has stayed consistent at the top of the order, hitting 308 and leading the team in triples. Chun Chen has slowed his strikeout pace, and now that Gettard has moved on, Chen now leads the team in batting average and on-base percentage. Cal Bellows is tied for the team lead in home runs with five. His batting average may not jump out at you, but he's been patient at the plate and leads the team in walks. His on-base percentage is nearly 100 points higher than his average. Bellows has also driven in 19 RBIs, leading the Arrows. Bellows was named Eastern League Player of the Week for the week ending May 21st, hitting 393 with three home runs and nine RBIs in those seven days. The Arrows stayed on top of their pitching game and still have the lowest ERA in the Eastern League at 274. TJ McFarland hasn't lost his start since we last talked. McFarland is now 8-1 and, and was named this past week's Eastern League Pitcher of the Week. McFarland has shown great control and hasn't walked better in his past two starts and along with Stephen Wright is amongst the league leaders in ERA. After the Arrows finish on the road against Trenton and then Erie, they'll return to Canal Park for a quick three game set to finish out May as the Bowie Bay Sox return for their second series here in Akron. The Arrows will hit the road for four in Binghamton before welcoming New Britain and Altoona starting June 5th. And we'll also be starting Saturday Night Fireworks in June to go along with our Friday Night Fireworks shows. Team Ghost Riders will be coming to town Thursday, June 7th, so hey, come check out some monkeys riding some dogs. And we'll see you here. Thanks for watching.